for my next number. <laughs> While I mentally recharge my batteries, I have one more question for the audience. By any chance, does anybody here happen to know the day of the week that they were born on? If you think you know your birth day, raise your hand. Let's see, uh, starting with, uh, let's start with the gentleman first. Uh, okay, sir, what year was it first of all? That's why I start with the gentleman first. What year? 1953 and the month? November. November what? 23rd. 23rd, was that a Monday? Yes. Yes, good. Somebody else, uh, who else would like to say, I don't have to see any women's hands. Okay, so how about you, what year? 1949. 1949 and the month? October what? 5th, was that a Wednesday? Yes, I'll, I'll go way to the back right now. How about you, uh, yell it out, what year? Uh, 1959. 1959, okay, and the month? February. February what? 6th. Six. 6th, was that a Friday? Good. How about the person behind her? Uh, what, what, what year was it? 1947. 1947 in the month? May. May what? 7th. Seventh. Seventh. Would that be a Wednesday? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, anybody here who'd like to know the day of the week they were born? We could do it that way. Of course, you, of course, I could just make up an answer and you wouldn't know. So I come prepared for that. I brought with me a book of calendars goes as far back into the past as 1800, because you never know. <laughs> I didn't mean to look at you, sir. You were just uh, sitting there. Uh, anyway, uh, Chris, you can help me out here, if you wouldn't mind. This is the book of calendars, and I'll ask, uh, who was it that wanted to know their birthday? You, sir? Okay. Qu what, what year was it, first of all? 1966. 66. Turn to the calendar with 1966. And, uh, and what month? April. April what? 17th. 17th. I believe that was a Sunday. Can you confirm, Chris? Yeah, okay. I'll tell you what, Chris, as long as you have that book, uh, book in front of you, do me a favor, turn to a year outside of the 1900s, either in the 1800s or way into the 2000s. That'll be a much greater challenge for me. What year, Chris, would you like? 1824. 1824, okay. And what month? June. June what? Six. Six. Was that a Sunday? It was. And it was cloudy. <laughs> Good. Thank you very much. But I'd like to wrap things up now by um, alluding to something uh, from earlier in the presentation. Uh, there was a gentleman up here who had a 10-digit calculator. Where is he? Would you stand up, 10-digit um, uh, guy? Okay, uh, well, stand up for me just for a second so I can, so I can see where you are. Okay. Oh, okay. You, you, you have a 10-digit calculator, sir, as well? Okay. What I'm going to try and do is to square in my head a five-digit number requiring a 10-digit calculator. But to make my job more interesting for you, as well as for me, I'm going to do this problem thinking out loud. So you can actually honestly hear what's going on in my mind while I do a calculation of this size. Now, I have to apologize to our magician friend, Leonard Green. I know as a magician we're not supposed to reveal our secrets, but I'm not too afraid that people are going to start doing my show next week, so I think we're okay. Um, so, let's see. Let's take a, uh, let's take a different row of people. Uh, starting with you, the f uh, I'll get five digits. One, two, three, four. Oh, I did this row already. Let's do the row before you. Starting with you, sir. One, two, three, four, five. Call out a single digit. That will be the five-digit number that I will try to square. Go ahead. Five. Five. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Eight. Eight. Three. Three. Fifty-seven thousand six hundred eighty-three squared. Yuck. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me explain to you how I'm going to attempt this problem. I'm going to break the problem down into three parts. I'll do 57,000 squared plus... 683 squared plus 57,000 times 683 times 2. Add all those numbers together and with any luck arrive at the answer. Now let me recap. Thank you. Um, while I explain something else. I know that you can use, right? <laughs> Forget everything else. 
While I do these calculations, you might hear certain words, as opposed to numbers, creep into the calculation. Let me explain what that is. This is a phonetic code, a mnemonic device that I use that allows me to convert numbers into words. I store them as words and later on retrieve them as numbers. I know it sounds complicated. It's not. I just don't want you to think you're seeing something out of Rain Man here. <laughs> There's definitely a method to my madness. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you want to talk to me about ADHD afterwards, you can talk to me. All right. um, by the way, uh, one last instruction. For my judges with the calculators, okay? You know who you are. There is at least a 50% chance that I will make a mistake here. If I do, don't tell me what the mistake is. Just say you're close or something like that, and I'll try and figure out the answer, which could be pretty entertaining in itself. If, however, I am right, whatever you do, don't keep it to yourself, okay? <laughs> make sure everybody knows that I got the answer right, because this is my big finish, okay? So, without any more stalling, here we Go. I'll start the problem in the middle with 57 times 683. Now, 57 times 68 is 3,400 plus 476 is 3,876. That's 38,760 plus 171. 38,760 plus 170 is 38,931. 38,931, double that to get 77,862. 77,862 becomes cookie fissioned. Cookie fissioned is 77,822. That seems right. I'll go on. Cookie fission. Okay. Next, I do 57 squared, which is 3,249. So I can say... 3 billion. Take the 249, add that to cookie. 249, oops, but I see a carry coming. Uh, 249, uh, 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 add that to cookie. 250 plus 77 is 327 million. Fish and fish and. Okay, finally, we do 683 squared. That's 700 times 666 plus 17 squared is 466,489. Rev up if I need it. Rev up. Take the 466, add that to fish and to get. Oh, she. Uh, 328,489. Good. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed mathematics. Thank you.